just not working. I out. As the Robert prayed for her over the phone, the healing power of God touched her. She could feel the pain going away as the man of God prayed for her. Tears on the eye started to roll down, and she also testified that the eye is no longer heavy after prayer. She, she received a healing. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Our announcements are as follows. Every morning at 6 a.m., from Monday to Friday, we have our morning prayer, which is at 7 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Our midday service starts at 5 to 12, and then we have our evening service, which starts at 6 p.m. every night. Our midnight prayer starts at 5 to 12, and then we have our eve and then we have our weekly prayer and fasting which is on wednesdays thursdays and fridays the details of the fasting are shared on our different whatsapp groups amen, amen. tonight you will get the word of god from the book of jeremiah chapter 22 from verse 5 niv it reads as follows but if you do not obey these commands declares the lord I swear by myself that this palace will become a ruin. For this is what the Lord says about the palace of the king of Judah. Though you are like Gilead to me, like the summit of Lebanon, I will surely make you like a wasteland, like towns not inhabited. I will send destroyers against you each man with his weapons and they will cut up your fine cedar beams and throw them into the fire people from many nations will pass by this city and will ask one another why has the lord done such a thing for this to this great city and the answer will be because they have forsaken the covenant of the lord their god and have worshipped and served other gods. As surely as I live, declares the Lord, even if you, Jeho Jehoiakim, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, wear a signet ring on my right hand, I will still pull you off. Woe to the shepherds who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture, declares the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Also tonight we will have a privilege to go through the word of God together, believing the word of God to be taught with power, power to heal, power to bless, power to protect in the name of Jesus Christ. Also, let us go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 22, verse number 5. The Bible says that, But if you do not obey this command, declares the Lord, I swear by myself this place will be a room. Then the Bible says that if you do not obey this command, if you don't obey, the word of God declares the Lord. God is saying that he swear by himself that that palace will become a ruin. Then the word of God is telling us that God you know, let me tell you this. It was not as if God was not talking to his own. God was talking to his own. And when I say that God was talking to his own, he was talking to his own, his own nation that he loves. But there is something that God cannot tolerate. God cannot tolerate. There is something that God cannot tolerate. And what God cannot tolerate it is when someone does not follow, obey the command, does not follow his word. 
he can't tolerate that. That's something that as the children of God, we must always remember that God, he loves those who obey the word of God. Those love those, God loves those who practice the word of God, but he can't stand those who does not practice the word of God. Because as you practice the word of God, you are acting in accordance to God's will. It is as if you are doing the things that God loves. You know, like things that he enjoys seeing when you are practicing the word of God. But when someone is going against the word of God, it's what is called sin. They are as they are doing the things that God does not love. You know, like these things are... These things, it is the same thing as a human being. If someone is doing the things that you can't, you don't love, you won't tolerate that. It becomes detestable to you. But if someone who is doing the things that you enjoy, you know, you you enjoy that, we think that enjoy, you will be enjoying whatever that that person is doing then that's why God is saying that if you do not obey this command, declares the Lord, God is saying that he won't be able to tolerate it. He will be the one. Him. He will be the one who will turn the palace to ruin. He will be the one who will destroy the palace. Then as a children of God, you know, we need to understand this very well. That, you know, we are the children of God and we ought to live the life that pleases God. The life that God will be enjoying watching but not to provoke the Lord's anger. Because it is good when God is by our side. If God is by our side, it's very good because God is by your side. As the Bible says that in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse number 28, the Bible says that all things work together for good to them that love God. That means those who love God are those who practice the word of God. And when they practice the word of God, God begins to be by their side. And when God is by their side, God turns everything to make sure that everything work together for their good. And all things work together to them that love God then it is very good when God is by your side. He causes everything to work for our good. Everything to work for your good because it's by your side. He gives us supernatural advantage. He gives you a supernatural advantage. That is when God is by your side. But the moment that God turns against you, that's when we call that when God turns against somebody, that's what we call a curse. He makes sure that everything works against the person whom is against him. He makes sure that everything turns, turns. Then if someone is cursed, that's when, when somebody is experiencing a curse in their life. When, every, when someone is experiencing curse in their life, most of the time they will find things not working. They try this, nothing works. They try this, nothing works. Why? Most of the time when a curse is, op- it, it is in operation, it is as if God is against them. And when God is against them, he will be turning things around. And sometimes, how, how curse operates, sometimes God withdraws. 
That's it. God withdraws and the devil takes over. And when the devil takes over in, in accordance to the word of God, in the book of John chapter 10, verse number 10, the Bible says that the thief comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That means the thief who is the devil, that fellow does not have any good. That fellow cannot do any good. But that person, the enemy who is the devil, he is called the destroyer. He only knows how to steal. He only knows how to kill. And he only knows how to destroy. Then if God withdraws and the devil or the demon takes over, it's called a curse. Because it's when the devil is in operation and when he's operating, destroying everything. Amen. Then that's why now the word of God is revealing to us it is best, the best place to be and where we, wa- we have to be and where we must want to be is to be at the place where God is by our side, where God is fighting our battles, where God is blessing us. That's the best place you can ever be when God is by your side. And that's why if you want God to be by your side, one of the things that we ought to do, one of the things that we ought to do is to practice God's word. Practice, become a word practitioner. That's what the Bible says that in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse number 1. The Bible says that if you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his command, I give you today, the Lord will give you, will set you high above all nations of the earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Amen. Then that's the Bible is saying that if we carefully carefully obey carefully follow all his command the Bible says that one of the things we're going to activate the blessing and the Bible says that as a result of the blessing operating in our lives, in every sphere of our life, the Bible said that he will set us high above all nations of the earth. Then that means the Bible saying that he, God will set you high above, high above all nations of the earth. Because he's taking, he will be, God will be taking us God will be taking you to the level where no man can reach by their own ability. That's why you will be at the place where the Bible says that above all nations of the earth. Because other nations will be trying by their own strength. They will be trying by their own ability, but they won't be able to reach even though they are at their best in accordance to human standard. But the word of God tells us, you know, if you carefully and follow, if you carefully obey and follow all his commands, that is God is have given us and is, is giving us today. The Bible says that God will set us high above nations of the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says that in verse number two, all these blessings will come on you and accompany you hmm, will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God you will become a blessing magnet you will become a good things magnet 
where good things shall follow you. And you speak like a David and say that goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercy. Why? The Lord who is the creator of heaven and the earth, the Lord who has created everything, will cause everything that he has, he will summon everything which is good to follow you when he is pleased with you. And that means that God is saying that he will end the struggles of life. He will end our struggles. God is saying, you will not struggle. God is saying that what others are struggling to get, because they will be doing it by their own effort, God said that he will give those things that others are struggling to as they will give them to us. He will give them to you if you carefully follow. If you carefully follow all his commands. He will make sure that every good thing follow you. Then it will be effortless. No. Some people are wondering why are they struggling a lot trying to get this, trying to get that. Is because they are busy working in their own effort. But the moment where they, they fulfill the scriptures in, in obeying and carefully following the Lord's word, from that moment, the scriptures like in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse number 33, where the Bible says that seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these other things will be given to you as well. All these other good things that you are looking for, that others are struggling to get, God will give to you as well. Giving to you without a struggle. Giving to you without a sweat. Sweat. That is where we talk about the place of supernatural supply. When David says that in the book of Psalm 23, verse number 1. But the Bible says that, David said that, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. The Lord is my shepherd. But for the Lord to be David's shepherd, he fully obeyed the Lord, the Lord, and carefully follow all his commands. Then the Lord became his shepherd. And once he had become his shepherd, he lacked nothing. I'm saying to you, as the Bible says that in the book of in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse number 8, that Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. So shall it be in our life. So shall it be in our career. So shall it be in our days. As we carefully follow all his commands. As we carefully follow the Lord's command. Doing the things that he loves. You will not struggle for any good thing in Jesus name. Every good thing shall follow us all the days of our life. You will be the head and not be the tail. And others will be wondering, why are you always the head? Why are you always ahead? Why are you always the head? Because there is a supernatural power. Supernatural God, supernatural anointing, lifting you higher. And you will be going higher from today effortlessly in Jesus' name. From today you will be succeeding effortlessly as long as we, we put an effort in seeking God.
as long as we put an effort in seeking him through his word because if you read from genesis to revelation one thing that god have asked and requested is so that we may carefully follow all his commands eh Amen. carefully and follow all his commands that's all Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. then how can we not love the word of god when where when in the word of god are all our blessings are there how can we not love the word of god when the word of god is the expression of god's love that when God have said that to show that you love me, follow my command, practice my word. Jesus said that in the Amen. book of John chapter 14, verse number 15. If you love me, keep my commands. If you love me, keep my commands. That's all. Jesus, Jesus said that if you love me, keep my word. Keep my word. Verse number 21, the Bible says that whoever has my commands and keep them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved my father and I too I will love them. And I will show myself to them. Verse number 23, the Bible said that Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. And my father will love them and he will come to them and make our home with them. Verse number 24, the Bible says that anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. And these words that you, you hear are not my own. They belong to my father who said me. That doesn't mean the, the word of God becomes the expression of God's love. Where, when you want to show God and you want to show even Jesus that you love me, Jesus, you love him. Jesus said that if you love him, follow his command. That's all. Because when you're following the command, when you're following the teaching, part of it you will pray. Part of it actually is the word of God is Genesis to Revelation. You will want to meditate upon it day and night. And the reason why they will ask you, why are you meditating upon the word of God? You will tell them that it's because I love the Lord. I'm trying to find out what is in his heart. I'm trying to find out his ways. I love him so much that I don't want to disappoint him. I love him so much. I want to find out what is it that he loves, what is it that he does not love, that I may not break his heart. That I may please him all the days of my life. Then that's why he, the, even Jesus Christ, we are hearing in scriptures like what is saying that who, anyone who loves me obey my teaching. Obey my teaching. And that's why Jesus Christ is saying, if you love me, keep my commands. Then one of the things that as a child of God, we must do for God to be by our side, for the Lord to become our shepherd, is to treasure God's word against all the odd treasure God's word. 
Let the word of God become food for your spirit. That's what the Bible says. That even when Jesus Christ went, they were t- tempting him. And they said that change. When he was praying and fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, and the Bible said that the enemy said that, ah, Jesus, I see you are hungry now. And because you are hungry, change, pray and change these stones to become food. And the Bible said that men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Let the word of God become food. You are manna. Let it become food for us, food for you. And once it has become food for you, it's also the expression of your love. Your expression of dependency to him. And Jesus said that, the one who loved me will be loved by my father, will be loved even by God. So that I too will love them and will show myself to them. Jesus said that he will, when some, as the Bible said, that come near to God, and God will come near to you, as you are coming near to God in searching the scriptures, in studying God's word, Jesus said that he will also come near to you. He will come near to you to reveal himself to you. Do you want a deeper revelation? This is a secret. Love God's word. Amen. Then tonight, we're about to pray, asking God, asking the Holy Spirit, help me to love the word. Help me to enjoy the word. Help me to obey the word. Help me to obey it. Help me. Help us. Not just to be the hearer. As the Bible said that don't just be the hearer and so deceive yourself. But be the doer of God's word. I'm going to be praying to God. Help me to be the doer. Help me to put the word of God into, into practice against all the odds. Help me. They will be saying, Holy Ghost, arrest me. Arrest me. Deliver me from everything that you don't want. Everything that makes me not to do, obey the word of God, deliver me, arrest me. Pray, pray. Arakasha talavaso tolobo. Arakindo fra kito vayando lobo. Arakio safran torobo. E de rere reva shotorobo si andarababa. E rafra sotolobo. Mandala baso torobo si andaraba. Mandara baso torobo. Mandara basha dorobo si andara rariade. Arata baso dorobo. Akinto franto frakashanda. E grandi fuso talabasiando. Manta kabasanto lobo si andara ba. E krato maso to lobo si andala ba. Aki to frayandele maso to lobo. Oh Jesus, help us to become the doer. 
We want to be the doer of your word. We want to practice your word. We want to be the doer of your word. announcement from tomorrow we are starting with our 10 days prayer and fasting for the month of September and we are uh, uh, believing God for September to remember for God to do great things in our lives then the theme of this one is September to remember, believing for good things. Then we will only be praying and fasting. During the day, we will only be drinking. During the night, we are not only eating meat, just for 10 days only, and we will be planting a seed. And in these 10 days, our ministry will be fasting also offering of these 10 days 
where you can find any other ministry where you can be a blessing to and you can offer there. And we are believing for September to remember. Where we are believing for God to do things in our life. Wonderful things. Say may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to say tonight, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a wonderful night in Jesus' name. Bye bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day, and afternoon, and night. Amen. Bye bye. Bye.